Okay, we're going to set our little pivot point into the ice. We've drilled a hole here. We're going to set into the ice. We set our circle radius on top. And push down. We're going to take our paper. We set it inside the guard like this. This paper is specifically designed to fit this dispensing machine. As you see, it slides up and down. The reason for those slots, so that the roll can empty itself right down to its core. So I'll slip this on. It sort of flips into a stand for now. I put a pin in to lock it into place. I loosen the top. Telescopically goes out to our 15 foot radius. Lock it into place. Okay. okay, we're just getting set up here to start a circle. So we tilt our guard forward like this. We drop our roll. The roll sits on the ice. We have a little bit of the paper that comes out. We freeze a bit of it into the ice so that when we take off with it, when I clip on here, it doesn't slip. We take our spray nozzle. Okay, I'll be clipping on here like this. I aim it so that the spray hits an inch and a half behind the roll. And then we have a paint roller with a short piled roller following us. See where the spray's hitting just behind the roll? It pre-sticks itself as it goes around. This paper hasn't ripped on us yet in about 20 rinks this year so far. And that's it. Okay, we're just coating in. As soon as we finish our line, we're coating it with cold water. That line was uh, dispensed with hot water with a roller falling behind, and now we're just coating it with cold water. This seals in the line. Very important, hot water to put the line down and cold water to seal. Same as the big line shown earlier. Nice blue, eh, Gordy? Okay, we just did our center blue circle. So we still got a blue roll on the machine. So we're gonna set up, uh, we have to put a ringette on this ring, so we're gonna put a ringette half circle in first on our hockey crease here, by the hockey crease. So we just set up on here. When the inner tube is right inside the outer tube, it's set for an eight foot ring at uh, half circle. So basically, we set our paper down. So we've got hot water in the backpack. I freeze a little bit of the paper before we start. I clip on. Spray right behind, a couple inches behind the roller, inch and a half, and that's it. Take off a little bit of the damp paper. We're going to change our colors now and get ready for a hockey crease. So I pop the pin out. Take the blue roll out. You're dirty. Grab the red roll. Place it in the guard. Set it in. Put it into its stand position. Pop the pin in. Now for six foot radius, what we do is we take the outer tube right out. And we have a marking on here for six foot. There's a hole drilled in the, in the inner tubing that's set for six foot. We set it in there. 
Okay, we're getting ready for our six foot radius. We set it down. Freeze in a bit of the paper. Remember again, we got hot water in this backpack. Clip on. And it's just that easy. Back into its stand, rip the paper off, take a bit of the dab paper off, and we're ready to go. Okay, we're ready for another hockey crease. Freeze in two inches of the paper. Clip on. And away we go. Getting ready for a penalty crease. So we slide it in. So we get to, there's a mark on here for 10 foot. This one's a 10 foot radius, that's a regulation size. We tighten it up. Okay, we're setting up for a penalty crease here. So we start it from the boards. We roll out a little bit manually, maybe about a foot. We give it a little spray, roll out to the boards, then we clip on. And here we go with our penalty crease. Good to jack up on the roller so you get it nice and flat. Okay, we're just setting up for another circle. Pop the guard, put a little paper out. Any more spray? Our paper roll is getting kind of small right now. We just want to want to show you that all paper can be emptied right to its core. Uh, this might empty out on this circle. Uh, if you have those little cores that sometimes lie around in boxes, you can put them on this machine. As long as it's the right paper that we manufacture, it'll dispense perfectly right to its core. So we'll just get set up for another circle here. That's what these slots are for. It's for that roll so they can roll right down till it empties itself. So freeze in a bit of the paper.